Hi, Vanith. Thanks for joining me again. Hi, Liz. How are you? I'm great. I'm good. So last time we spoke, we talked about uh, your uh, involvement with Community Bridge. And you mentioned that one of the important parts of open source is documentation. And I know you've been involved in the Kubernetes documentation work for the past few releases. Um, tell me about how you first got involved in that. Uh, so, like, I just wanted to get started in uh, Kubernetes community, but looking at the uh, features, issues, and uh, uh, Kubernetes enhancement proposals, which we call it as caps, and they keep looking around them, but it's uh, literally an ocean, so you never know where you want to get started with. So, this happened to me by getting started with Docs. So, I was initially learning Kubernetes by looking at the documentation. So, when I see small nits and small issues, I just go and raise a good first issue. And I see the encouraging community from documentation and all the six in the Kubernetes. So they just ask me, why don't you fix it? Then I'm like, okay, so let's sign a CLA and then let's get in. And then I get some good mentorship, like how you should look around uh, documentation. What are the styling guidelines you need to follow? And that's how I contributed to a few good first issues in documentation. And then the, I managed to apply to be a doc shadow for 1.16 release which is three releases prior from now so yeah that's how i was part of docs release scheme from 1.6 to 1.8 brilliant and uh you talked about applying to shadow and um, maybe explain a bit about that shadowing process and how somebody would go about applying to do the same thing Yes, so Kubernetes gives an opportunity for people, like the community gives an opportunity uh, for people who are new to the community, if someone wants to get started. So after every release, there will be a Google Forms which will be rolled out. So you can get notified uh, uh, about this by following the Twitter handle of Kubernetes or uh, by being active in SIG release uh, Slack channel. So once this Google Form is out, you need to fill a couple of questions. So how many hours you can allocate per week? and uh, what are your goals by joining the specific uh, team in the release. So release team basically consists of multiple teams like communication, CI signal, enhancements, docs, bug, bug triage. So which interests you, you can just apply for it and then you get selected. So after that, you will be dealing with most of the managing work. So here you will not be writing any code if you're part of release team. So you'll be tracking and you can like raise the flag saying that this is not healthy and we are not in a good shape for the release. And then that's how your work involves with the community. And the best part is you get to know about everyone in the community. So if you are in docs, you need to reach out to multi clusters, uh, SIG API missionary, like everyone. You will have all the enhancements and you should make sure that the documentations are ready before the deadline. That's fantastic. So as part of working with those docs do you end up feeling that you're learning about the you know the technology and those different components within kubernetes at the same time so uh, like coming to my work as a release lead so for 1.18 i was a, a docs lead for kubernetes so coming to my work i i was responsible for tracking all the documentation which should get in for 1.18 release so I'll be assigned with a couple of branches like the placeholder branches and the master and the dev 1.18 branch. So I should keep syncing the, the branches so that we will have a smooth release at the end of the release. So I keep doing cherry picking and all the stuff. So when we see a branch in Kubernetes, like you will have hundreds of commits in a week. So syncing up these branches without any merge conflicts is like definitely a good thing to learn. And also I I spend my weekends reading Kubernetes enhancement proposals. So what is the new cap we got for the new release? So what are the new features users are proposing for? And what are the features which are moving from alpha to beta and beta to stable, graduated? So I keep looking around the features and their life cycle. So it's a good thing to know, like, as a project progresses, I just want to stay with it. Like, what are the features getting in and what are getting deprecated and all that. I'm excited to be part of release team and it's totally fun. Fantastic. So um, you were a uh, docs lead for the 1.18 release. What are your thoughts and plans for 1.19? So for 1.19, I have like, I can join like any other teams in the release. Uh, so I can uh, either shadow for the main release lead who is tailored this time, or else I can 
continue to be in talks. So I'm planning. Uh, so I'm much more interested into CI signal and enhancement. So I'm just I just applied like uh, every other shadow to be part of the release team of enhancements or the CI signal. So I'm waiting for my results. So if the lead of enhancements or CI signal selects me, so I'll be part of either of the teams. Fantastic. Well, good luck with that. Um, and I'm sure you're going to be super successful, whichever bit of uh, the Kubernetes release teams you're, you're working in. So really good luck with that. And we will talk again soon. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you.